Switch up, switch up, switch up, switch up, switch up, switch up, switch up. Who? You like the switch up? You like the you like the new camera setup? You like the new switch up? Hey, I'm gonna keep it real. It's the same camera. It's the same microphone. It's the same SD card, but it's a different angle. You messing with it? It's crazy, right? <laughs> All right, so what's poppin', everybody? You know what? You already know who it is. Now, this video is about to be another lit one. Now, for this video, you guys already know that it is 2018. And for 2018, but especially for the beginning of 2018, there is always a lot of bangers. There are always a whole lot of dope, nice little upcoming releases that are coming out. So what I am going to do is, in this video, I am going to go through a in-depth look and show you guys my top 10 upcoming sneakers that are coming out. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it, like I always say. So, sit back, relax, go to McDonald's, and get you a Whopper, because we, oh yeah, pat that chest, boy, you feed me, pat that chest. We, I've been, I've been, I've been lifting weights, making gains, I'm looking, I'm looking nice, you feel me? But we are about to get it popping. All right, so for number 10, I have to give it to the Air Jordan 14 last shot. Now, a lot of you guys might not feel the way I feel about this shoe. I feel like when it comes to Air Jordan 14s, yes, they are one of the worst Air Jordans. It's not an ugly shoe, but it is one of the worst Air Jordans. But even though it's one of the worst Air Jordans, I still feel like that shoe doesn't get a lot of the respect that it deserves, especially this last shot colorway and especially the black toe colorway. Now, the last shot colorway is definitely dope. It's a basic black with the red hits on it. And if you guys don't know, like there is a whole lot of history that goes along with the shoe. I'm not really going to break all that down to you because, I mean, we care about it, but then we don't really care about it. Let's just go ahead and keep it real. But I just feel like this shoe is extremely dope because if you guys look at it, I don't know, bro. It's just a sleek and like stealthy shoe it's almost like splinter cell you feel what i'm saying um i don't know like if you look on the side panels of the shoe it's in like this cool little leather but then if you start going towards the toe you can start to see little hits of suede also around the toe and this is just a shoe that i don't know it just brings back memories for me i remember being a freshman in high school and this shoe re-retroed and uh i remember seeing a whole lot of people had this shoe in their feet everybody had this shoe i didn't have the shoe i wanted the shoe but everybody had the shoe and then I, real, I, I started seeing the shoe go from being a very clean shoe on people's feet to being like a very beat shoe on people's feet. By the summertime, by the time the shoe came out in the, like by the time the summertime hit, everybody's last shot 14s was, was beat, dog. They was all horrible. They was all trashed out. And I mean, I still wanted a pair. Let's go ahead and keep it real. But this is a quick one. That was number 10. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into number nine. Now for number nine, I have to give it to the Air Jordan 3 Retro Mocha. Now these are coming out uh, June 18th, 2018, maybe. Now this shoe is dope. Now this is another one, bro. Like I think the first two or three are going to be shoes that a lot of people don't really mess with. They're shoes that you already know are going to be sleepers. You feel what I'm saying? But this is another shoe that is just dope bro it's one of those og colorways that i believe it's getting its first re-retro now and i just think that i mean just the fact that it's an all-white shoe and the fact that it has those like little chocolate hits on the back tab and on the toe is just a great look in my opinion i just think that that's dope and then if you also look at like the back of the shoe it makes it look more vintage because the back tab the back pull tab of the shoe is in like this creamish yellowish brownish tannish kind of color like a sandy kind of color and I think that that's cool also. Now, when it comes to the price, the price of this shoe is going to be retailing at a nice little 190 Now, we would have rather like a 160 or 170 but you feel what I'm saying? We can't, we can't complain. We're just going to have to keep it real. Now, this shoe is definitely dope. Now, I have one pair of Air Jordan 3s in my collection, and those are the, uh, the Powder Blues. I have those, but... I do definitely need some more Air Jordan 3s in my collection. And there's this Air Jordan 3 that this year I plan on copping. And there's another Air Jordan 3 this year that I plan on copping. That one. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. We are definitely going to be getting into that one soon. But this was number nine. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into number eight. Now for number eight, I have to give it to the Air Jordan 1 High OG Equality. Now, this shoe is kind of like a mock-up look of... This is kind of like a fake looking... I don't know. This is kind of like a secondary version of a top three. It's like the second coming of a top three. I feel like it takes inspiration from the top three. Now, out of this shoe or the top three, in my opinion, which one looks better? I'ma just come up front and just say the top three. I feel like the top three is the best Air Jordan one, you know? A lot of y'all probably gonna be like, huh, 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 what? But it, it don't matter, bro. I think the top three is the best Air Jordan one. I think that the top three is extremely clean. And I think that the top three 
is a shoe that I need in my collection that I still don't have yet. Why is that? I don't want to pay $235. Give me like $190 or $200, $220. But $235? No. I can't do it. But when it comes to this shoe right here, this shoe is definitely dope. Now, if you guys look at the pictures, the whole shoe is almost in like this patent leather shoe. And you see like a black toe with hits of gold on one shoe. And then on the other shoe, it's kind of like the opposite. Almost like the Chicago one and like a bread one. Kind of like that or like a royal one and like the what are those what are those what are those blue ones with the like the laser beam on the side of them i don't know fragments fragments or like the fragment ones those two it kind of like takes the opposite ends like the yin and yang of both of those and puts it together i think that it's a cool shoe it's not the best shoe you know it's definitely an upcoming shoe for 2018 it's definitely a shoe that is real sought after i know a lot of people are going to be going after this shoe but in my opinion uh i feel like there are tons of shoes better but this is still a clean shoe. This is still a shoe that I know people are gonna like, they're probably like, if you in line at like a mall and you waiting for this shoe, bro, somebody's gonna freaking jack you for these shoes by the time you touch the door, bro. They gonna hit you with a dang Bruce Lee tornado kick and kick you, dude, kick you through them double mall doors, you feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Hey, man, when you go out in the morning to go pick up shoes now, because hey, Jordan Brand is not playing with y'all no more, y'all. For the last two years, y'all was like, man, Jordan Brand, man, they all played out. Man, the money, man, the money's high up and there's so many more pairs now. Hey, you're going to start to see these bad boys fly. You feel what I'm saying? Because the number of shoes that are available are going to start to dwindle down, dog. You feel what I'm saying? Look, 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 you better, you better be on your A game, boy. You better be on your A game, boy. This ain't like last year, man. This ain't like two years ago, bro. You gonna have to you gonna have to want these shoes now. Hey, no more waking up late on the on a Saturday morning now, my boy. And you better set your alarm and be at them all crisp and early. Or guess what? <laughs> You're not gonna get them new J's. <laughs> these just facts. But without further ado, like I said, the Air Jordan One Equality is a cool shoe. But this is number eight. Let's go ahead and get into number seven. Now for number seven, I have to give it to the upcoming Air Jordan Eight Retro White OVO. Now this comes out January eighteenth, twenty eighteen, and the uh, dog fire. Absolutely fire. Now, it kind of looks like there's like a pair of eights that were like white and gold. I don't know. The name is like in the back of my mind. I can't think of the name right now, but it looks like those. I don't know. What are they? Champagne? It looks like those. It looks like those. But um, I don't know. This shoe is definitely clean. I know it's going to be extremely hard to get because it's an OVO model. So I feel like you probably going to have to get this shoe on like an app or something like that. But hey, hey, Drake, dog. Hey, dog. Hey, claps to you, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Claps to you. Hey. All respects to the homie Drake, but if you guys want this shoe, this shoe is going to be retailing at a cool 225. Now for this shoe, the, the 225 is worth it. You feel what I'm saying? Now this shoe, as you can see, it's in like that all white, and then it has those hits of gold with like little small subtle red hits on the toe and on the back tab and on the bottom of the shoe. Now the outsole that you will be seeing is in like this creamish, milky kind of outsole also. And also, one thing that I do have to add, I believe this shoe it might be like a all white leather, like a tumbled, like a real good tumbled full grain leather, like a like a real good tumbled full grain leather. But I have a strong feeling that it might have a little bit of a gloss to it. I gotta research the shoe a little bit more. But this was number seven, the Air Jordan 8 OVO. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into number six. Now for number six, I have to give it to the Air Jordan 1 Retro Bread Toe now. You talking about, you remember the first release of the Shattered Backboards, bro? First of all, y'all gonna hate me. When I first saw the Shattered Backboard Air Jordan 1s, I thought they were trash, bro. Look, I don't feel that way anymore, but initially, I thought they were like, dog, why is everybody going so crazy over this shoe? But I saw them in person, and then I was like, okay, all right, I, I understand now. This is going to be just like that. Hold up, stop it. Do you see this suede? Do you see this suede? Do you see, like, in these little pictures, you can see, like, the details on all the suede. This is not like any Air Jordan we've seen in a long time. The quality is about to be out of this world, and that's why this shoe is so far up kind of on this list. It's not because of the shoe. We've seen the sneaker colorway before, and I don't care that it's a bread toe because the toe's red. I don't really care about that. The only thing that I really care about is the quality. The red toe doesn't change anything. It's just the quality of the picture looks extremely dope in my opinion, and that's something that we need. Look, think about it. Quality like that for 160, that's something that you don't see anymore unless you're buying like a other branded model. But this right here, oh yeah. 
February 18th. Oh yeah, oh yeah. February 18th, I'ma see you boy. Expect a vlog too. <laughs> oh yeah, we, we are about to get really lit. You feel what I'm saying? Like I'ma need these for real, for real. And if I don't get them, hey, when, if I'm at the mall, somebody gonna have to, go, they gonna have to get up off them. You feel what I'm saying? Come up on them, be like, hey dog, let me, what am I talking about? Okay, I gotta stop. All right, so for number five, I have to give it to the Bape X Adidas Dame 4. Now, a shoe hasn't made me do this in a minute. Look, bro, this shoe is fire. Now, the Dame, now, when it comes to like Damian Lillard, hey, salutes to you, dog, but he doesn't really have shoes that make me like, be like, oh man, I gotta get them. And it's not even the sneaker model of this that's making me be like, oh my gosh, I need to go out and get these. It's the fact that it's the it's the Bape combination with the shoe. Think about the Bape NMDs, right? I feel like when it comes to the Bape NMDs, I feel like they did the shoe totally wrong. I don't like the shoe. If I had the money to buy the shoe, I would not buy the shoe. These are just facts because I don't need the shoe and I don't want the shoe in. I don't like mid NMDs. I'm just gonna have to keep it real. But when it comes to this shoe, I feel like the way that they went about this shoe is the same way they should have went about it on the NMDs. Do you see how there's like WGM on the shoe? Do you see how there's like a more pronounced Bape camo print? And also do you see how there's like some kind of shark teeth integrated in the shoe that's what we needed all along you feel what i'm saying i'm happy that they finally gave it to us with the damian lillard shoe but that is what we needed all along we needed that all along and now we're finally getting it and this shoe is definitely extremely dope now this shoe is coming out for the 2018 all-star game and you'll be able to get your hands on a pair of this shoe during all-star weekend this shoe is going to be hard to get we already know and this will probably be the first damian lillard shoe that is going to pretty much sell out now so lucid damian lillard for getting that kind of alley-oop from bait and nice way to like integrate the materials with a basketball shoe and make it look extremely fire i'm definitely looking forward to seeing damian lillard wear this in an all-star game like he should he will definitely be turning heads you feel what i'm saying like players on the court will be passing out while he's crossing angles you feel what i'm saying <laughs> giving boys heart attacks bro because hey the issue it's crazy it's gonna keep real but for number five i had to give it to the bape x adidas dame four now nah, without further ado let's go ahead and get into number four now for number four i have to give it to the air jordan six chinese new year now this shoe is crazy bro this shoe is dope now i like how subtle this shoe comes off initially if you look at this shoe it's in like that all black and then you have like little hits of gold kind of like the defining moments pack like the defining moments air jordan 6 now that is cool that is cool and all you feel what i'm saying almost like the olympic pack too now that that is also cool that's cool and all i mess with that but one thing that is cool is the like chinese new year theme on it i love the flowers i'm a real floral person i love i love i love roses and i like like bright toned colors i love my pinks and my yellows and my turquoises and my teals you feel me those are like my favorite kind of colors i like brighter colors you feel me and i like how they kind of integrate it on this shoe now if you guys look the majority of the color scheme is in like that gold but i love how on the back of this shoe you have like this nice little flower print stitched in where it's like a red rose and like a white flower behind it and then you also have like the green little leaves of the flower too i think that that's sick I think that that's dope. Also, now I need more pictures so I can see like anything else that I might be missing out on. I'm gonna need more pictures and I'm gonna need more research. I'm gonna have to research the shoe just a little bit more. But for right now, I feel like this shoe is dope. Everything about this shoe, like if you look at it now, it just looks all stitched in and it looks all detailed. The details of this shoe is looking nice. Hey dog, I gotta give it to Jordan Brand. Jordan Brand is actually coming hard this year. Last year was cool. It was all right. It, it wasn't like this year though, but this year they're, they're kind of like in their bag. Like they're going to be in their bag and then they're going to take stock away and then they're going to be like, yeah, oh yeah, you can't beat them Jays, boy. You will never beat the Jays. But for number four, I had to give it to the Air Jordan 6 Chinese New Year. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into number three. Now for number three, I have to give it to the Off-White X Nike. Now, uh, there's a whole nother Off-White collaboration that is coming out. A whole nother set of shoes. A whole nother set of L's for you to take in 2018. Hey, if you didn't think the L's that you took in 2017 were enough, hey, they listed a whole nother branch of shoes just for you to take the L's on. Congratulations, bro. Like, <laughs> you cannot escape the L's. You will take an L. Let's go ahead and keep it real, bro. When it comes to these, you are going to take an L. But the shoe that I am going to look at initially is 
the vapor max now there is a vapor max coming out i haven't seen any of the other ones but as far as upcoming ones one that caught my eye was the vapor max and the vapor max is definitely pretty cool uh i like how it's like all black like i said bro i'm big on stealth I like stealthiness. You ever play Call of Duty? Now, now when I play Call of Duty, I rush the noobs. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, subscribe to my gaming channel, Nashi Plays. If you if you like Call of Duty and 2K, subscribe to, to that channel. Cause we get lit over there. You feel what I'm saying? But like when I play Call of Duty, dog, I rush the noobs now. But I used to be one of the mountain snipers and I used to pick people off like cherries. You feel what I'm saying? I, I'm 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 kind of trash at the game, but I still put in work sometimes, you feel what I'm saying? But when it comes to this shoe, this shoe just has that kind of stealthy appearance that I think is really cool. If you, And also, if you look at the bottom of the shoe, it has like that, like, I don't know, like that, that tinted blue see-through outsole. And I think that that's definitely dope. Also, you still have like that blue tag and you still have that Nike swoosh along the side of the shoe that definitely looks stitched in. It looks like a real, it looks like a more put together version of the last shoe. Now the last shoe is better than this one by far, but this shoe is definitely dope in my opinion. Now, wh when does this shoe come out? I don't know. Just prepare for an L because <laughs> uh, they're going to be handing them boys out to you like 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 them boys is free tickets you feel what i'm saying like free samples at the mall like free samples at sam's club they you about to you about to catch you a l whether you like it or not bad boy you feel what i'm saying but without further ado this is number three another off-white and nike collaboration but without further ado let's go ahead and get into number two now for number two i have to give it to the air jordan 11 concord now oh bro if you going to get this shoe because i am bro like, I missed out on the Concords a while ago. Number one, bro, I was a little kid, bro. I was a little kid. Number two, I ain't have no money. Why? Because I was a little kid. <clears throat> this time, I'm getting these Concords. I don't, I don't care what nobody say, bro. I'm getting these Concords. Y'all might not be on the Concord hype now, bro, but I, hey, bro, I'm getting these Concords. Let's go ahead and keep it real, bro. Look, here, here we go. Tossing the phone. Concord survival guide when you go to the mall. There is, a, a, there is going to be a survival guide when it comes to buying this shoe. First of all... If you're going to the mall to pick up Concords, bring two other people with you. Don't just bring yourself because that'll be a smooth way to get you clapped. Hey, the world has gotten worse from 2010. Let's just go and keep it real. Has the world gotten better since 2010? No, we have a president named Donald Trump. Let's go and keep it real. So like, it, come on dog. Bring two, three goons with you, you feel what I'm saying? They gotta at least have two strikes, you feel what I'm saying? They need to be ready for war. They need to be built with it, you feel what I'm saying? Bring you screwdrivers, hammers, uh, shanks, tasers, uh, mace. You gonna need all of that when you go into the mall because, bro, people are crazy when it comes to concords. I've seen videos of dudes getting stomped out over some concords. I've seen videos of little kids getting their concords stolen right off of their feet. I've been at school, and the dude has been walking around that school talking about his Concords. Oh, yo, I got these Concords. I got these Concords. You know, you, you know how the dudes will come in to the school with the new shoes trying to brag. Well, that dude came in bragging by third period. He ain't have no more. Feel what I'm saying? Look, they legit found this dude in Sea Hall, picked this dude up by his, by his legs just like this, snatched them boys off his feet. He ain't never see them shoes again. You feel what I'm saying? People go crazy over these Concords, man. Number one, the Concord is a dope shoe. As you guys can see, like that all white mesh, it's definitely iconic. That, that, that dang black patent leather that's around the shoe, definitely iconic. Definitely a shoe that we all need in our collections. Everybody needs to have that pair of shoes in their collection. But this is a shoe that will get you clapped. This is a shoe that will get you smacked up. Let's go ahead and keep it real. So look, buy this shoe with caution wear this shoe with caution because if you don't you're going to end up taking <laughs> more l's than you want to take you feel what i'm saying you're going to have footprints all over your face by black goons stomping you out you feel what i'm saying especially for you boys in new york bro with your dang huge tin boots on man 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 around like the end of the when, when these are probably going to come out in what december man i man i wish i would bro go to the dang Man, bro, I wish I would camp out for these bad boys in, like, the snow just to get a pair and have, like, four or five baggy jean wear New Yorkers stop me out in some tin boots. How would you be able to look at yourself? You couldn't, like, you couldn't look in the mirror. How could you look in the, how could you look yourself in the mirror knowing you got stomped out over some Concords? Bro, listen to what I'm saying, bro, or you gonna get stomped out. <laughs> these just facts. But this is number two. Let's go ahead and get into... Number one. All right, so for number one, I have to give it to the Air Jordan 3 Black Cement. Now, toss the phone again. Get, get, get out of my sight. Now, 
this shoe, bold statement, is probably going to be uh, top five best shoes of 2018, bro. This shoe is iconic. Probably the most iconic Jordan out there. Now, um, you know, you got the flu games, you got the concourse, like I just said, you got the space jams, but out of all shoes, I believe that this shoe is the most iconic Jordan. If you guys don't know, this is the first Jordan where they actually started using the Jumpman. And I just think that this is a extremely dope shoe. Not only does the shoe fit really well, not only does the shoe look really well on feet, I just feel like the colorway is just crazy, bro. The shoe came out one time when I was in high school. It probably came out my freshman year. Everybody had the shoe. Like I said, I was a little kid. You feel what I'm saying? I did not have the money to, to buy stuff. I didn't have the money to buy shoes. I didn't have any money. You feel what I'm saying? So I couldn't get the Lace George by myself because I, I, didn't, I didn't have it like that. You feel what I'm saying? But now I'm copping off top, off top. I'm getting these shoes without, 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 no doubt. These shoes will be in my collection without warning. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? But this shoe is definitely dope. The all black, the, the full grain leather that you see all over the shoe is cool. The hits of red that you see all over the shoe is cool. The, the hits of gray, the gray elephant print that you see on the front, on the toe of the shoe, and on the back heel of the shoe, that is dope also. Now, hopefully they come with that Nike swoosh on the back. If they do, that is great, that is awesome. I'ma need that, I need that. But, you know, this is just one of those shoes that we need at that 190 price. Um, Beware, this shoe will sell out. Whether you think it won't, whether you think it will, it doesn't matter. This shoe will sell out. Let's go ahead and keep it real. But when it comes to this shoe, make sure that you stay on your game. Make sure you set your calendars. Make sure you go on the sneakers app and set like little reminders, like schedule little reminders so that a week before, two days before, three days before, four days before, they hit you up and they let you know of the biggest releases that are coming out. But without further ado, this is the last one. Hey, like I said, be on your game, you won't take no L's unless you're going after an off-white Nike shoe. If you're going after an off-white Nike shoe, <laughs> you're going to take a couple L's. Now, when it comes to Yeezys, I don't really know what Yeezys are coming out yet. I haven't really done any uh, any scoping. I haven't done any surfing the web on that, but uh, I might make a whole separate video about that. But this is the end of this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. As you guys already know, I got more bangers coming soon. And all I got to say is, hey, uh... I got more videos coming soon. Blessings, 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 and duh. Chris, out.